Now, with the automotive landscape shifting away from gas-powered cars, the G-Class is spawning the all-electric G580 with EQ technology. Yes, that's what Mercedes has named it, and why they didn't choose something simpler is beyond us. Forgive us for favoring the less complicated, colloquial, G-Class EV here. The G-Class EV retains the classic boxy styling of the gas-powered G-Class, and Mercedes claims that it will remain an extremely capable all-terrain vehicle. For electric motors, each mounted close to one of the G's wheels can be controlled individually, allowing for heroic levels of off-road capability. Those motors combine for a total of 579 horsepower, which promises to make the G-Class EV a performance powerhouse on par with its gas-powered, AMG-branded sibling, the G63. The G580 with EQ technology, ER, G-Class EV, is an all-new model for the Mercedes brand for the 2025 model year. Expect to see the new electric G-Class hit the road in late 2024 or early 2025. The G580 with EQ technology differs from its gas-powered siblings, primarily due to its electric drivetrain. Four electric motors, one for each wheel, combined for 579 horsepower and 859 pound-feet of torque. Each motor can be individually controlled, which Mercedes has taken advantage of to give the electric G-Class some new-age off-road tricks. For one thing, the SUV can spin itself 360 degrees within its own length, what's known as a tank turn. We haven't had a chance to test or drive the electric G yet, but Mercedes-Benz estimates that its four motors offer enough power to launch the boxy SUV to 60 miles per hour in just 4.6 seconds. Given that the last AMG Tune G63 model we tested did it in 3.9 seconds, we think that estimate is on the conservative side. The G580 EV's cabin is predictably deluxe, and high-end finishings abound. Napa leather upholstery is standard, and integrated ambient lighting can be adjusted to the colors of your choice. The dashboard is upright and tall, with little space between the base of the windshield and the steering wheel. The rear seat isn't as spacious as the one in the larger Mercedes-Benz GLS class, but it's on par with what you'll find in other high-end off-roaders such as the Land Rover Defender. Now we come to the conclusion the EQ technology for the G-Class? Total abomination. Man, ruins everything the G-Class was about. Just like the new C63, nobody's buying it. They're messing with the legacy, and it's not cool. Who wants an electric G-Class anyway? It's just not right.